Hey guys, so I just upgraded my iPhone 7 Plus to iOS 10.2 and my OnePlus 3T to Android 7 Nougat, so figured good time to do a matchup between the two. So let's get started by powering both these phones on at the same time. Now both these phones are extremely, extremely fast, uh, easily top 5 in terms of speed, probably even higher than that. Previously did a comparison when the OnePlus 3T was on Marshmallow, uh, the iPhone was on iOS 10.0.2. And with that, uh, very close, both won and lost in certain regards. But obviously, very much updated operating systems here, so we're going to see a difference. Now, if iPhone is the first one to boot up, uh, that is the world's fastest phone to boot up. And the 3T is the fastest Android phone to boot up. At least out of all the Androids that own, this is the fastest one. Uh, for boot up anyways. Alright. So you guys see everything's closed out. So let's get started. Uh, first up, we have Thump Run 2. Now, iPhone usually faster at games, uh, faster loading them up, and you see no exception here. Of course, on Android, a lot more devices to optimize for. Uh, but let's check out some of the other apps. Alright, next up is going to be CNN. So 3T, pretty easily there. iFunny next, 3T there, just by a hair but still 3T, you do. 3T there. All right, now calculator clock, these both are um, very fast on both, not much of a difference. Probably won't be using these for much longer uh, since mostly only the mid rangers are still affected by those. Uh, only difference with the mid ranger, they may be a little bit slower, but high end phones pretty much all the same. eBay next. Alright, so that one goes to iPhone. Asphalt 8. So another game, this one should go to the iPhone. So both these phones, very impressive specs. Uh, with the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, you have the A10 chipset, 3 gigabytes of RAM. With the OnePlus 3T, twice as much RAM at 6, and the Snapdragon 821. All right. So a few more, and then we're going to move on to some other stuff. Photos. Very close on both. Maybe a tad faster on the 3T. Let me know what you think. Uh, ESPN. So maybe do that. Now this app uh, can be very slow, especially on Android. Uh, actually took my eye off it. I'm, I always do in terms of which one fully loads up, including the ads. So again, you guys can let me know which one won that. Uh, settings next. And then after this, we're going to move on to more stuff, uh, including fingerprint scanner, multitasking, uh, camera speed and to do what you do right now. So you see on the iPhone 7 Plus score of 182,000. Uh, this is the highest for any phone on the market. And with the 3T, so very impressive here. 169, uh, this is the highest for any Android phone. And as you guys see here on the list, so just behind the 7 Plus, the 7. So again, extremely impressive uh, for both phones. All right, so next up we'll do Chrome and then after that we'll do fingerprint scanner on uh, camera speed and then last we'll do multitasking. All right guys, for the web browsing part of this, it's gonna make sure I clear all the data for both. And then we're gonna go to some new sites. All right, first up, MLB.com. All right, so you see they're faster on the 3T. Let's do uh, NHL.com. All right, so again, they're faster on the 3T. Uh, let's do a couple more. Let's do Nintendo. Nintendo.com. All right, so again, here, faster on the 3T. Uh, we'll do one last one. Let's just do Yahoo. 
All right, so again, 3T here. Uh, so yeah, web browsing here goes to the 3T. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, next up, let's look at the fingerprint scanner. So both phones, the fingerprint scanner is located right here on the home button, personally my favorite spot. And the 3T is the fastest fingerprint scanner I've ever used, also most reliable. So the iPhone 7 Plus, I actually really like the fingerprint scanner on that, but going up against the 3T, uh, I do have to hand it to the 3T. Just can't be beat. And just so you guys don't think that it's, you know, just registering any fingerprint, as you guys see there. So yeah, very, very impressive for the 3T. Next, let's look at the camera. So in terms of the rear facing camera, um, on the 3T, it is 60 megapixels on the iPhone, it's 12, although on the iPhone you do have dual cameras on the back. So this is in uh, test of speed. So it looks like for the most part the 3T is faster taking pictures, though there are some ties. All right, um, next let's do multitasking. And we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning. Uh, we're gonna do Temperanto. All right, so you see on the iPhone, uh, it's starting from the game on the uh, OnePlus 3T. It's starting from the very beginning, so Van is there for the iPhone. And we're just gonna check out a few more. So multitasking so far not perfect on Nougat. Uh, something I hope that they fix. Would be very nice just to go back. Uh, although sometimes it does, of course. All right, next up, let's go back to CNN. All right, so that was 3T. Uh, iFunny. Looked a tiny bit faster there on the 3T. Not much of a difference, YouTube. All right, that one is iPhone. Let's do Asphalt 8. All right, so both of them, uh, as you see here, they both just going back to the game, which is a good sign. All right. And just a couple more. We will do, so we'll just do one more. Let's just do, uh, we'll just do the Chrome. All right, so I mean a tad bit faster there on the iPhone, but you know, not much of a difference. And then, very, very last one, we'll do camera. All right, yeah, so I think the iPhone may be a little bit better, multitasking a little bit faster. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. So, for the most part, though, the 3T did win a lot of the tests. Um, the iPhone did win the boot up, I think, a little bit better multitasking as well. Uh, but for the most part, I think the 3T won the majority of the stuff. Um, so with these two phones actually have a lot in common, both, as I mentioned earlier, both 5.5 inch screen, 1080p, 401 pixels per inch. Um, the 3T does a better uh, front facing camera, 60 megapixels versus seven on the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, in terms of storage, so on the iPhone 7 Plus, 32, 128, or 256. On the OnePlus 3T, 64, 128. Uh, neither has micro SD card support. Uh, the OnePlus 3T battery is a little bit better, 3400 capacity versus 29. So both in terms of size and real world use. In terms of design, so both of these are mostly made of metal. Lightning port at the bottom for the iPhone versus USB-C. Uh, USB-C for the OnePlus 3T. Now with the OnePlus 3T, you do have a headphone jack on the iPhone you don't. Definitely needs to be mentioned. Um, in terms of processor, I think I mentioned before, but A10 3 bits RAM for the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, Snapdragon 821 6 gigabytes RAM for the OnePlus 3T. Uh, the iPhone does have stereo speakers and is waterproof, the OnePlus 3T is not. 
Um, in terms of pricing, the iPhone 7 Plus is a few hundred dollars more, starting at $770. Uh, the 3T starts at $440. So guys, I think in terms of value, I think that the 3T does provide better value. Now, of course, if you're a big iPhone fan, iPhone 7 Plus is an excellent phone. And uh, it does have advantages, like I think the rear-facing camera is better, uh, it is waterproof, I think the speakers are better quality. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's definitely an advantage with the iPhone 7 Plus, of course, if you like iOS. But then with the OnePlus 3T, of course, there are advantages with that as well. Uh, I think in terms of speed, overall, just a little bit faster for a lot of the apps. Uh, a lot of day-to-day -day stuff, even like web browsing, uh, fingerprint scanner, camera speed, you know, for the most part, it is a little bit faster. Um, better front-facing camera, better battery, and of course, it is a few hundred dollars cheaper. So if you're a big Apple fan, then I think the iPhone 7 Plus is a great phone. I like it more than last year's iteration because they added a couple of things like the stereo speakers and waterproofing. Uh, and as always, it is extremely fast. But I think the OnePlus 3T did impress me more just in terms of value. Um, you know, for $440, you are getting an excellent phone here. One that can compete in terms of speed with the best. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. I will have a lot more videos like this in the future. And thanks again for watching.